Hey friends, welcome back. Here's my before look. I washed my hair the night before and slept on it wet with no product in it, so it's pretty crazy right now. I'm just gonna be brushing through my hair as always. Today I am showing you how I curl my pixie with a mini straightener. This is the one I use. I was gifted it, but it originally came from Amazon. The brand is not on Logical Harmony's website, so I'm unsure about their cruelty-free status, but I will be linking a hair straightener, a mini one, down below in the description box. There's always tons of great links down there. I'll be linking one down below that is 100% from a cruelty-free brand. So I'm starting by straightening the side that has less hair on it. I just straightened it flat. And now I'm gonna be going into the other side to curl. So what I'm doing is going close to the root, twisting the straightener, and then pulling it towards the end of the hair. And once it's done, I use my hands to kind of encourage that curl and twist it even further. So again, twisting away from my face and then using my hands to set the curl in place. I try to get as close to the root as possible without tugging on my hair too much because obviously using a straightener isn't the best for your hair because of heat damage, but this is just a fun look I like to do when I'm getting kind of tired of my usual day-to-day -day pixie style. So what I'm trying to do here is get that layer of hair that's kind of underneath that top layer, just so everything is curled, not just that top part that is near the part in my hair. One thing I did want to mention is that I got my hair cut only two days ago, so this is pretty much the shortest my pixie gets, at least lately. This is the look I really like. But when my hair is a bit longer, I'm able to get more of an actual curl. Here, it kind of ends up being a bit of a wavy look because especially those tiny pieces that I'm trying to do right there, you just really can't curl those very much. Um, so I'm just mainly kind of going for a textured, wavy, curly look here. And I actually really ended up liking the end result. So what I'm doing is just trying to find any straight pieces and play around with my hair just so I can find any random straight pieces. I'm taking a lot of care to do the curl towards the front and I'm really encouraging it with my hands to kind of twist back and again away from my face for the most part because that will really frame your face really nicely and I just like how that looks on me. So here's a real life moment. I initially thought I wanted this side to be straight, but here I'm thinking, hey, I might want it to be curly. So I'm going with a curled look here, but I'm going to be straightening it again later in the video. Here I wanted to show you another option. This is a barrel curling iron that I have, and it has that tapered look where it's thicker on one end and then thinner on the other. This doesn't work for me right now because my hair is just way too short, but I wanted to mention this tool in case you have a longer pixie and wanted a different option for a tool that might work for you. So here I'm continuing to play with my hair and find different pieces that I wanna to continue to straighten, especially those really small pieces down below. I wanted to take a quick moment to thank Jennifer over on my Instagram page. My handle is Ava Elizabeth YT. It is always linked down below. I wanted to thank Jennifer for requesting this video in a comment. I love hearing your video requests, specific tutorials that you would find helpful or you're interested in seeing. So please, as always, leave your video requests either down below in a comment and over on Instagram. I've really loved posting to Instagram lately. So yeah, definitely head over there and say, Hi. Now I'm tackling the back of my hair and for the next few seconds I'm just going to be speeding it up because you can see what I'm doing. It's pretty self-explanatory now. I'm just curling mainly away from my face and then after I'm done with the straightener using my fingers to really set that curl. So I'm just going to speed it up right now. If you're new to my channel and you've never seen a video from me before, my name is Ava and I make videos about my pixie hair and other cruelty-free beauty and lifestyle videos. So if they interest you, I would love it if you joined our little community and hit that subscribe button down below and also press the bell. So like I said earlier, I could just not make a decision about this side of my hair. Did I want it straight? Did I want it curly? And this is just real life. I'm kind of indecisive sometimes and this is just one of those moments. So I decided finally just to keep it straight because the pieces were just not looking very good when they were curled. They were looking a little too poofy for me. So anyways, I just decided to straighten it. Now that we're done curling, I'm gonna go in with a molding cream. I'm just warming it up in my hands about a pea-sized amount, 
and then running it through the sides of my hair for a more sleeked look and then towards the back and then finally the sides to give more definition to my curls, increase the texture and it also helps with shine. This specific product I've actually had for years and the brand is called Loma. It's currently listed on Logical Harmony's pending list so I'm actually going to reach out to the brand, send them an email and just try to encourage them to be on Logical Harmony's approved list so then I will buy their products in the future but for right now I'm of course trying to use the product up. And just to finish off the look I'm doing a quick spray of hairspray. This one is from Josh Rosebrook. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!